Well, good morning, Tabernacle family and friends. Today is Monday, July the 22nd. It's hard to believe uh, July is rolling right along. We'll be up into August here before we know it. And uh, looking forward to a great week ahead. Last week, tremendous week with our Bible school. Our Monday devotion, our Monday minute comes from Isaiah chapter number 55. I want to read verse 6 and then verses 8 and 9. And uh, I can't develop all of this text, but I'll give us a little thought from it there. Verse 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. This is Isaiah 55 verse 6. And then verses 8 and 9, the Bible says this, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And the thought I would leave us with today is the, the idea of trusting and obeying. The, the idea of realizing that uh, God is at work even when we don't understand it and even when we don't uh, see what's going on. That that as God is working, he desires a, a response from our life. And a lot of times our response is opposite of what it should be. Uh, sometimes God's at work and we want to question his plan or question what he's doing or we don't understand what he's doing. Sometimes God's at work and he wants us uh, to acknowledge him uh, even when we don't see what he's doing on the other side. And then the idea that we can learn to appreciate his work or uh, be thankful that he is at work. The truth is God sees the whole picture. God sees what he's going to do next week and what he's going to do next year, what he's going to do uh, this afternoon, and we only see a snapshot. How often have we uh, neglected God or we negated what God is doing? The idea of trusting God's timing, trusting God's wisdom. Uh, I wrote these five things down here this week as I was looking through some uh, papers. It says this, every person has needs. To, to trust God, to obey God in our season. Every person, God gives instructions to. Not only does every person have needs and God gives instructions to, every person at times may struggle with the instructions God gives. And then we can, we can choose to trust and obey God. And a lot of times God will work or uh, come through in situations that we weren't even aware of or we couldn't even fathom in our own mind. When we're in a difficult season, uh, we, we should look to the Lord and not miss uh, what he has for our life. Oh, what a needful reminder of the season we're in to look to the Lord, to trust the Lord, to obey the Lord, to be mindful that he's at work. And so often we're so nearsighted or we, we don't understand, we don't see the big picture. Isaiah 55, 8, 9, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. You know, this week, today, the season you're in, you can trust him. You can obey him. You can rely on him. You only see a, a snapshot, but he sees the big picture. And in the end, we can learn to appreciate his faithfulness, his care, his guidance, his goodness. And again and again and again, the Lord will help us. I hope you have a blessed week.